Good morning, beautiful people. Oh, okay. The microwave is telling me that I need to go ahead and take my shit out. Um, we are day two in Puerto Rico. Welcome to my vlog. Yay! Hey. I'm so proud of myself, first of all. Um, I never thought I would make it this far, first of all. Let's be honest. I did not think I was going to be able to make it this far. But here we are. Um, Mario made some food last night. Mm. It was so good, y'all. Let me show y'all this beauty. Y'all, this is so good. So, it's some um, vegan chili with some rice and Brussels sprouts. It's so good. Look at this. So beautiful. I'm gonna sit out here and I'm gonna meditate and I'm gonna chill. So beautiful out here. So, this is how we're starting today. So, I thought that the retreat started today. Apparently, if you're not VIP, you can't do the meet and greet. And so, An area of improvement for the Black Rose Pole retreat would be to um, be mindful of the division that is caused by general admission and VIP um, for people to arrive Wednesday and only to be told that they can check in, but they can't do the meet and greet. That was a form of division. I didn't like that too much. Okay, so I spent the morning honestly really focusing in on uploading my youtube video for day one in puerto rico um now i have a big meeting um that i need to start getting ready for so i'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth uh wash my face iron my clothes and get ready for this meeting i'm really praying that this meeting goes well so i had my meeting um it was more like an interview um I don't really know how I did solely because the person was asking me a lot of technical questions and I am two years out the game. So that kind of had me a little nervous. So I made it to the convention center. Uh, for those of you who may be looking to book next year, the Sheraton and the A-Loft um, hotels are right next to the convention center, which is convenient, but they are a little pricey. So I would recommend to either find an Airbnb or connect with people who are attending the event so you can have um, available housing. Okay, so we are officially here and um, I'm excited. You know, when it comes down to being social, I get a little weird, but we're gonna stay positive. So we shall see, stay tuned. So these are the items that we received in our swag bag. And to be honest, it was mediocre. Um, the good thing is we got a shirt and some cool glasses, but everything else just kind of seemed like samples or cheap items. I don't think they put a lot of time into uh, really curating some good items for the swag bag. Definitely met some awesome people during check-in and we decided to you know, walk around and head to the hotel. Okay, so it's official. We figured out how to sign in um, or check in. So I have my swag bag, really excited. I met some awesome people. So the next step will be going to the hotel with a few people and having a good time. I was just recently added to Instagram chat, which is perfect. Um, and so hopefully we continue meeting some awesome people. I'm really excited. Um, I met some amazing people so far and it's just coming together. It's just, it's just coming together. So stay tuned. Forward to to the family reunion. Um, I love the Black Girls Pole family. Yeah. I love Elijah and Akia, yeah. Nicole the Pole, yeah. Family Rebel, like all of them. So I'm yeah. just excited to take classes with them and learn some shit. It's been yeah. a minute since I've just pulled like for the fun of it. Yeah. So I'm ready to, to learn some new stuff. Okay. Okay, how do you feel? I feel hungry. 
Yeah, same, same, same. So we are headed. Uh, we are. Oh, <laughs> okay, my bad. We are headed to um, a Thai place. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited. For and uh, Miramar. Yes, we Mira think. Okay. And Miramar. Miramar. Okay, okay. All right, stay tuned. Is it is there a green square? No. So if you press this trigger in the back, it should be a dream square that like Oh yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, so I've been using it. It's like my favorite thing to do. The biggest thing I was worried about with traveling to Puerto Rico was whether or not they have vegan food. But my pen ray, I think I'm saying it right, uh, or ray, my pen ray. Uh, they were really good because they had a lot of vegan options. Um, what I noticed about Puerto Rico is everybody speaks English. So if they notice that you're an American, they're most likely going to speak English to you, which is okay. I want to learn my Spanish, but the food was so good. Um, this was our appetizer. I got the green curry and then Mario got the drunken noodles. And when I say the food was delicious, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what we need. Hey, Mario, how do you feel? Very satisfied. Very satisfied. Yeah. What was this place called? No idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know what the place was called, but the food was amazing. Yeah. The, um, the beginning was very spicy. We were struggling. I was about to say, the, <laughs> I, what was that? Som Somtom? I don't know what it was called, but the shit was spicy. I just spot. remember my drunken noodles. <laughs> yeah, the drunken noodles were really good. And then I had the green curry, which was delicious. You can tell they put a lot of like time in curating the curry. Yeah. So it was good. All right. So off to Mario's apartment. Yeah. To TYL. Yeah. yeah. Me and Mario are about to go down to the beach. beach. How do you feel, Mario? nervous because I'm on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a fair statement. That's a fair statement. Doesn't Mario look like Jesus right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. See y'all soon. So Mario wanted to show me the rooftop of their condo. And mind you, Mario's condo faces like, uh, is basically a beachfront, but the backside is like a city view. And we went to the rooftop and man, how beautiful is this? This is just such a beautiful view of Puerto Rico. And honestly, this was just breathtaking. Like the videos don't do it any justice. It was a sight to see, but it helped ground me to realize like I'm in Puerto Rico. Um, of course, Mario wanted me to take um, this ladder to get, I guess, a higher view, uh, which was really cool and exciting and I love Mario because Mario really put me on to a lot of exciting things while I was here in Puerto Rico. So as you could tell, I was like, what the hell am I doing? But I was down for a good cause. <laughs> Mario, you look like the modern day Jesus <laughs> Hey, yo, that's crazy. What is that? So it looks like we came across some type of bird. I don't know what this is, but it was like a sign telling us not to walk on the beach at night. I don't know why there was a series of events that happened leading up to this bird or seeing this bird. And we were like, now nah, we're out. Ah, what an amazing day too. Um, Mario shout out to mario i love them so much they really just showed out and they are now preparing to um you know do their own thing and i have to do my own thing so um i appreciate mario just for looking out for me and providing like a sense of security and um, a safety a safe environment but i say all that to say good night y'all tomorrow is a new day i'm gonna go running in the morning I don't know why the hell I offered everybody to go running. I'm not even a runner. I, I need my inhaler when I run. Bro. But I decided this can be my way of connecting with people. So.